Well, this frame has been up for a full week now, and I think Alyssa and I are actually slowly becoming rested. I don't think we fully understood what it would take mentally and physically to get ready for the workshop, but we did, and we're really proud of ourselves, and it went well, and all that fun stuff. So the last week has been full of just housekeeping stuff. We've been returning things, picking up new things, taking care of a lot of personal matters that got neglected. I've had a a honeydew list, if you will, like a mile long of things that got broken or damaged or missing. A lot of our snow has melted in the last few days, maybe actually the last two days. Prior to that, we really couldn't do anything on the frame. Everything was frozen. It wasn't even like snow. It was muck that had turned into ice and we tried chipping it away uh, with no luck. So that's uh, kind of where we're at. We've been doing those things. Yesterday we took the day off and just enjoyed some time together and it was really nice to just hang out with Alyssa without a drill or sawmill or something planer in our hands. So I've done a couple things in the last couple of days just between rain showers and stuff to get caught up. The frame, even though it's raised, uh, is not done. There's still kind of a list of things that we need to complete in order to be able to move on to the next phase, which is getting the SIP panels installed. Some of those are things that we were hoping to have done prior to the workshop, but really didn't affect our ability to do the workshop. And so we end up kind of pushing them down the priority list so that we could focus on saw milling so that we were ready when everybody arrived. One of the most urgent things though that we needed to address after the workshop was getting the frame secured. There were some screws holding the frame to the platform, but really the SIP panels are what will hold this frame down. There's no joinery or anything on the warm board. It's just sitting here. So one of the first things that I did was we installed what are called RSS screws. Let me change this focus. From GRK, this is what's called an RSS or a rugged structural screw. They're a lag screw. So <clears throat> especially on the perimeter where the frame is just sitting on the platform, it went around and attached these screws. Of course, on this post, I did it on the outside because that's a visible post where you'll actually see the frame inside. So I went around and lagged this into the rim board and the eye joists so that the frame is secured to the platform. Once the SIPs are installed, they will make that connection because the SIPs will actually be adhered to the frame and to the sill and to the rim board. So pretty important. These screws are monsters. We have quite a few to-dos that are pretty important to get ready for SIPs. One of the things that we've been working on all week is windows. We've been trying to figure out what windows are available, what do they cost, learning how they work, all the, the terminology, budget, the range of options. So it's been challenging. Alyssa and I have learned a lot and we realized we didn't know much about windows. They were really just kind of something we had not thought about. We're getting very close to narrowing that down. Uh, we're hoping in the next day or two that we can lock that in. The reason that is important is we cannot have our SIPs manufactured until we choose the window manufacturer because the rough opening sizes for each manufacturer are different for the windows. And so in order for them to cut the window and door openings in our SIPs for us, which is a convenience thing. We have to have the manufacturer chosen. And what we have found is that you can get a, a window in the vinyl category for a couple hundred bucks and you can spend a thousand dollars on the same window. So it really starts to mess with your head and you're trying to understand what the quality difference, the longevity, the warranties, yada, yada, yada. So in a nutshell, we've been working on that. One other pretty urgent to do was to get the rim board correctly fastened. It was just a small oversight on my part. I felt like maybe I kind of jumped more to the warm board too quickly and we didn't get that small detail done. Uh, we had fastened it, but it wasn't completely fastened. And that's important because now we've adhered the timber frame to the platform and the worst thing that could happen is it yanks the entire platform off of the sill plates, which probably wouldn't happen unless you had a roof or something 
that would create uplift, you know, as it sits, the frame's really not that big of a sail. But if we put any kind of roofing on it, it could, in theory. At this point, I am not interested in taking chances. So the other evening, I came out here and got that to do completed. We have a pretty good list going. We need to complete the extension of our sill plates. Kind of lean over the rim here. Sorry, this is getting long-winded, but I feel like some people will benefit. So our sill plate is this treated piece of lumber right here. And our SIP panels will sit and create a tight seal on that sill plate. But they're not wide enough. The engineer specified a treated lumber product here that was four inches by 14 inches. We couldn't find one. So, actually it wasn't four inches. It was 14 inches wide, something like that. The point is we couldn't find one. We ended up going with a single sawn pressure treat product that was in the four by 12 range, which makes them like 11 and a quarter actual. And we're going to have to add a four by four to the outside in order to extend those sill plates out and add what's called a shoe, which is what the sit panel will sit on and it will create the seal along with caulking, mastic, foam, etc. So we have to get those extensions installed. And then we need to get the SIP shoe installed. So lots of lots more construction to be done here on the platform. In order to do that though, this hand railing has to come off. And we may need to change up a little bit of this bracing. These cross braces are installed to hold the, the frame square. I'm a little worried about doing that in the wrong order because I know that when the SIP panels go to get installed, we've got to make sure that the frame is square. So it's, wrapping my head around this stuff is kind of difficult. I know we'll figure it out. So I'm going to work a little bit this afternoon. I've only got about an hour of daylight left here to work, but I think I can get most of this handrail removed and that'll just be one last thing off the to-do list. focus now it's too dark but I've got my LED on the impact so I'm gonna keep working I'm probably a little over three quarters of the way done with the hand railing I feel really good to get the railing off today and then maybe tomorrow or the next day we can get to work on some of these other to do's aha Alyssa brought my headlamp thanks Alyssa My memory's not very good. I forgot we had work lights. Duh! So I've been working with our 
Milwaukee. Ooh, it's kind of bright. And I've got just a couple more uprights to remove and then I'll get all these uprights cleaned up. But the rain is starting again and I gotta put the cannon away. So, night night cannon. See you tomorrow probably.